Oh. Hi there. Ezreal, the Emerald Sorcerer, is here. Let's play cards. Alright, I hope y'all are having a great day. Let's see who we're reading for. If y'all could be so kind as to go and hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that. Leo, please and thank you. Alright, what do we got? Who's around for Leo, Capricorn? Gemini. Libra, ooh, this one, Scorpio, Aquarius, uh, Aries, Sag at the end of the deck. Signs may or may not be relevant. Could just be the energies of them, whatever. All right, let's start the way we always do, Leo. Let's have a look, see what's going on for Leo. What's going on for Leo? A journey. Leo, Leo, Leo. Come on. What do you get to say today, Leo? Happy family. Let's see how close I can get. It's not my family. It's in your head. Tanks and bombs. They are crying. The sun. There you are, Leo. Shining bright. All right, building blocks. Uh, oh, oh, air sign woman. Uh, a leg up, interdependence, and another woman here. So let's see. Let's get. Thank you. Yin, woman, 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 huh? Feminine aspect of receiving. Um, and percenty energy, unconditional love, mothering. Creativity, beauty, four, two, 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 four, two, four. We want to look that up. We're just twos in general because a four is a two. What's down here? One. Oh, blessed. Some situation here is um, being. Uh, Driven by spirit, grace that is unforeseen. Uh, it's spirit taking like control or something here. Some situation is blessed. Somebody is blessed. Somebody, 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 somebody. Question mark, question mark, question mark. All right, what's going on here? I see stars and rainbows, divine intervention. Uh, somebody is a star. Somebody's a healer. There's healing needed. Yin energy is a good way to get healing here. Between worlds. Not that men can't be healers, but they definitely need to use their feminine qualities to do the healing. We are all one. It's just... We play the part of one or the other, more or less of the time. Anywho, between worlds here, flamingo energy, which is all about transition and transformation. Born white, turn pink because of their environment and the food that they eat. I don't really remember what that vitamin, what that thing is called right now. Beta, creatine, no, that's muscle stuff. Uh, it'll come to me. I'm just going to keep going. I don't know. Something is not as it seems here. No man's land. One foot in, one foot out. I feel like that's how somebody has been operating here. Temporary blindness. Somebody doesn't want to see something. And so they refuse to go all the way.
strategy. Uh, I see a cornucopia. I also see a home. Uh, all tied up in action. Energized effort. The chariot action. Uh, more strategy. There's a lot of strategy. This thinker here. And, and it's kind of funny because I was looking at the three up here and I'm like, this has to do with several people. Third party stuff here. Strategy here. 44. About this three, this third party stuff here. Even though this says connection to kindred spirits. Here and now, joy to value, the storm, it's tornado season. I feel like there's something chaotic here going on, disarray, that somebody's not seeing here. Uh, victory is with God. Our whoever you believe in that's higher than yourself. It's not yourself here. Because we are all divinely guided. I personally believe there's more than one God. But there's one head honcho and I just choose to call him God. I believe their names have changed over time. They morph with stories. This is not what we're talking about. You need to zip it. Chaos. Disarray. Anywho. I was saying that. Uh, there is some things not right. The value of chaos before order. 33. I've already... 44, 22, 3. 3, 3. <clears throat> Something is like... Look at this. Looks stable. And like... Majestic, angelic, beautiful. And then this over here is dark. It is um, duality. It's chaotic. It is uh, somebody is in a complete disarray here. I feel like... People are at a crossroads with one another, or they're uh, like something is up with this family dynamic here. I guess I'm gonna have to get more because, and this is the creative like yin energy, also in the form of Ariel here. She uh, loves animals and nature and. She's really nice. Intimacy and creativity. Yin energy. All right. One more. So we have a row of four. I'll take it. One. And then there's care and connections at the bottom. All is not as it seems here. Within a tribe, something about a tribe. I feel like somebody might be a bit of a liar, a pathological one at that. I feel like this masculine energy is like uh, things are revolving around him. What else is behind here? He might be the one wearing the mask. Yeah, look at, not too far back, attachment. There's something not right here. Let's just keep reading. I gotta put these back. What is that? Stepping stones. The process of arrival. Oh, between a partnership of two. Something revolves around partnerships and possible love. Friendships, uh, communication, honesty, and transparency, a masculine air sign, uh, motives, or just someone that's kind of cold and dry, and uh, again, like, that's masculine. Uh, Chamuel is third chakra, the magician. 
a master manipulator. All right, I want tarot first. Ooh, that did not want to be put back. It was like, wanting to talk here, rebelling. Somebody could be rebelling. Somebody doesn't want something to change. Somebody's not really good with change here. There's a family of four, two adults, two children over here. It looks to be a girl and a boy. All right, just give me some tarot cards, please. Let's do the rainbow ones, because we started with a rainbow. All right, something is a battle here. It hasn't been nice. Five of swords, fighting. I feel like I just need to shuffle. All right, Leo, don't forget to go ahead and hit the thumbs up and subscribe, please and thank you. Thanks for stopping by, coming on in. Your attendance is a greatly appreciated. That's three cards. Hangman, something has been at a standstill. Judgment. Maybe somebody wants to look at something different. Somebody uh, might be a little bit selfish. Like, mm, they can't balance themselves here. They need help. Um, this person looks a little worried, like during this hangman, like he went this far, how could he, it's just out of somebody's reach here. High priestess, the high priestess is out of somebody's reach, judgment. A reconciliation with the high priestess is out of reach. Ten of Swords. It most certainly is. Over, over, over. Ten of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Cups. Uh, don't look back. You're not going that way. Uh, something happened in the past here that was... It ended it. And I feel like this person was like, No, no, no. No, no, no. It can't be over here. Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, Tower, Three of Pentacles. But I feel like that's going to make somebody's day. So there's conflict, chaos, there's changing, you know, some for the good, some for the better. Some believe in what's going on, some do not. There's some manipulators around here that want things to go their way all of the time. Sorry, Leo, that is one of your traits, just saying. Not that all of us can't be selfish, because I'm a Libra. Libras are definitely selfish. I love talking about myself. That's one of Libra's traits. And it's a thing. But I have learned to rein some of that shit in. That was just one of the first ones I thought of here. Many more character flaws. Many more. Always a work in progress here. <clears throat> but I feel like somebody just... Two of Pentacles. Seven of Wands can't hmm. BJ might be relevant initials for wands something just out of somebody's reach or maybe somebody has decided there is some decision for sure people have been weighing options or juggling for some period of time here Trying to manifest the wheel to move. Trying to work magic. Um, the hangman talks about things being paradoxical. So, like, an enigma wrapped in an enigma would be the high priestess as well. There is some secrets here. Or in secret. Somebody is waiting uh, to put a family together here with the happy family and the four wands. It's about celebration, fun, caring, love, domestic harmony, feeling free as a bird, foundations, tarot class. 
being carefree. I also feel like this high priestess character could be alone in a home or live alone, uh, separate from a family. Someone knows family secrets without even being there. They can hear them outside the house here and Empress. They can hear the Emperor. Somebody's whispering, like, come, it's like a spell or something. Come back to me with the lovers here. Chariot, like, fast, we'll fix it. Eight of Swords, I'll help you, Knight of Wands. Uh, I'll pick you up, Aquarius, Five of Pentacles, Jupiter. Let's just put him over here and her over there. Ugh. I feel like these two are separated. What's this over here? Empress, last, thank you. Four of Cups. The Queen of Wands. There you are, Leo. The Star. Like I said, Aquarius, Eight of Wands, come to me. That's magic. Mm, spells here. Uh, five of Wands, Ten of Wands. A come to me spell. Um, to ignore an Empress, to uh, not see an Empress. Somebody wanted somebody not to pay attention to an Empress. A Libra. Pisces over here with the hangman. Eight of Pentacles. Not pay attention, but look it. That's the Eight of Pentacles. That is focus, right? Like, too bad, so sad. Like, the focus is on the Empress because the Empress is the Empress, is a Libra, is possibly a healer here with the Four of Swords, and they have entities with them, protecting them, around them here. Somebody was wishing bad stuff about this empress here. And it's like they sent out these uh, little fucking fairies that like to fuck with shit, to do shit. So this empress is protected by these hooded figures. I don't know what it is the last couple days with the hooded people. It's like there's a theme running around here. It's not Mercury retrograde, but there is a lot of coming back and going back and a lot of big changes and a lot of people involved in these changes. And that's probably why it's in every sign that I've read because it's family. So somebody is focused here. Uh... Or this Empress here, Four Cups, doesn't want to look at it anymore. They have changed their focus. Libra here is focused on healing and the truth. They've seen what they need to see. Like somebody, what did I say? Somebody is like kind of stone cold. Libra can be like that. Like who are you going to get? The Empress or are you going to get the King of Swords? It's your choice. Ten of Pentacles, family. So there's a bunch of them. Has to do with legacy, foundation, money here. Forward movement, a recognition here. Uh, winning. Six of Cups, six, six. Some past children. Childish, nostalgia, reconciliation. Seven of Cups. All those things, I feel like there's a lot of Options swirling around here because of all the people talking. Six of Cups from the past. What is this here? The transition, the te temporary non-action, stuckness, one foot in, one foot out. Disarray, the uh, value of chaos before order. Order in the court. King of Wands. So somebody could be going to court. 
especially with the King of Swords hanging around. All right. King of Wands here takes action. Some fire sign, quite possibly. Uh, he's a doer and a creator, and he's full of passion, but he's also, like, uh, young. He's not the emperor. They could be a little bit showy. Uh, why do I care? Who cares? I don't even know sometimes. Aries, Taurus, Libra, uh, Virgo, Pisces. Kind of double Pisces with the High Priestess and the um, Hangman. Anyways, this is the Knight of Cups come out. So somebody wants to take action to do something. Or somebody needs to take action to do something. But the Knight of Cups is all talk. No action! So somebody claims maybe that they're going to do something, that they are doing something, that they're trying their best. Right? Ace of Cups. Temperance, Justice. That's Sag and Libra together with the Two of Pentacles. Uh, somebody's watching somebody, another two. Spying trying to get some information uh, from the universe about the world here and about the past, a past cycle. Somebody wants to um, turn that frown upside down. So somebody was making Knight of Cups offers, a King of Wands here, calling it love. What's this Ace of Cups? Six of Pentacles. Calling it love. Breadcrumbing here. Uh, literally the Page of Pentacles. But it wasn't... Something is just not enough. Like the offer isn't large enough for the shoes that need to be filled. Some is like immaturity or somebody needs help. It's a lot of taking, purging, and then whatever was brought to the table, it's like, well, look at what I put out and look at what you brought in. And they're like, but look, mine's bigger. I don't give a fuck. Don't care. It's perspective. La la la, Ace of Wands, Judgment. And therefore, and then, then comes a new beginning. What's this Yang Emperor Energy Action? That was that Ace of Wands. The Page of Cups, an apology, an amends, uh, the truth here, a long awaited truth with the Knight of Cups. Somebody was stalling here with the Eight of Swords. Somebody is, like, super stuck here. They need strength here. They don't know what the right way is. They don't know how to win. Purgatory. Stuck in your own crazy-ass fucking thoughts. Self-imprisonment could be prison. Some masculine energy could be going to prison. Strategy and plan, maybe like they know this. Uh, someone broke the law at some point. Um, someone, this emperor energy has got themselves fucking in a pr in a predicament, and it's all them. It's all self-imposed here. This stuckness, this slow moving, this, uh, the page of pentacles. I did say somebody could be like a pathological liar, but I kind of feel like they don't know they're lying. They don't see it like that. And they could be lying about, uh, 
family because the cows talk about family. It might even talk about like mothering and stuff. So somebody could be lying about the Empress, but this dude's heart is lit up. He, his heart knows something that his brain won't catch up with. Somebody could be hard-headed here. Somebody is kind of childlike for an Emperor for the position in which he's supposed to be in here. <coughs> Somebody need to, might need to make an amends to children. All right, I'm gonna leave them. You yep, you can play now. All right, row one, please. This caring family fun rainbow hangman. Thank you, high priestess. Four of wands. Ahead of the pack. Separation. Solo. Motivated. Uh. Just out of reach. A competition. I feel like something within a family is very competitive. Somebody likes to dominate here. Or an alpha male needs to be motivated to do something. They need like a fire lit under their ass here, Leo. Maybe you feel like you've been in a competition with this masculine, about this feminine here, having to choose sides or... Hmm. Somebody might have a lack of drive to change or to see something with the High Priestess. This Leo could have secrets, you Leo, or somebody has secrets about you. Another one. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Karma, projection, uh, you get what you deserve. Somebody is reaping karma, and it's their own fault because they have been concealing, wearing a disguise. They've been stuck in their ego. Projection, projection, projection. That's what I said. Somebody is projecting here. It's paradoxical. All right, putting on a show, it's a performance. Ra ra ra. Go again. Um, fuck. Power struggles. So, somebody here needs balance. They might be a little too leisurely here. It's too mad. They don't, nobody, somebody doesn't want to move fast, but. I don't know, it's time to move fast here. Somebody, there's like an offer for a vibrant, abundant, happy, comfortable life. Somebody's wishes are coming true. To lift out a negativity. Another three, five, six, two, five, six. So, relevance of numbers here. So, can I see, again, I was got sidetracked. Uh, Empress, Yin Energy, Blessed, Four Cups, Eight of Pentacles, King of Swords, thank you. A man, an Aries, or a King of Swords, Emperor, uh, is a problem. There's a separation, there's barriers, somebody's stubborn, there's a lot of pride here. Breaking free from a stalemate or somebody. I don't know. Can I have another one? Allow trust, divine timing. That's like two spirit cards right there. Uh, something in the ethers, the Akashic records, zero point energy, a binding force, soul spark. Another one. Divine timing here. Uh, the sun and the firefly for something to be illuminated. It's like two cards of illumination. There's also more pride and ego. One 
11. A lot of ones and twos and threes, like a lot of synchronicities here. Yeah. Reason over instinct, baggage, burden. Here's a little girl. Something about a father and a daughter. Older and younger people here. Chemistry, DNA. Uh, somebody very exceptional, like mother, like daughter. His father is looking a little, his brows are furrowed here. What is that? And look at, there's another mother and child. And there's two feminine energies here, two masculine energies here. Same thing at the beginning over here. The time has come. I feel like this woman is powerful here. The sun is powerful. Light codes. Uh, they get information from spirit. Possibly the child too. Uh, gentle, lucid dreams and telepathy. These people are, could be communicating telepathically. Uh, people need support. Other people support here. People could be seeing these people within their dreams. What's this right here? The coffin. Something needs to end with this tower and the coffin. Look at, there's the rainbow, divine intervention. Seeing through facades here. A uh, sudden uh, upheaval and change, aggression, chaos, chaos and chaos, a breakup, uh, over and out and done, death, empress, a woman, the devil, uh, and just saying there's another uh, like mother, like daughter. 11, 311, 13, 13, this is so weird, those come out together, 111 come out together, and I have a 3 right next to it, 3, 1, 1, 1, 1, 3, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, so I don't know, there's a bunch of codes that are matching up here, like, People are finding the people, or they're going back to the people in which their energies match up together here. 11, 11. 2, 2, 2, 2. I don't know what's going on. This is a little bizarro. Magic. What's the next, the last one here? Uh, things, new things on the horizon, determine, making dreams real. I think things working against you, but persistence pays off here. Uh, being stuck, so unstucking oneself, eight, eight. I know I saw more eights too. It's like all the same numbers, it's so bizarre. And of course the Empress is three, I think I said that. We just zip it, everyone. Soulmates! The one, a deep soul connection, faith, divination, more magic, twin flame shit, uh, the one, ace of swords is just like, something has not been right with this lover situation here because of past life stuff, uh, people are involving this mama bear energy and finances. And then there's a tornado and a text and communication, maybe after like some long time. Again, with the codes, somebody was giving somebody lift service. There was silence, no talking, liberating in the end, something over and done. Maybe there was a judge involved making contact, text or call somebody to negotiate and discuss something having to do with finances, benefits, mothers, uh, bosses. For personal growth and health and evolving. Shit lineage. A woman. King of pentacles. Or the devil. A woman. The devil. And the ball and chain. And unconditional love. That's weird. Uh, a ring.
I feel like this emperor is obsessed about this woman here. Like, obsessed, obsessed. Possibly about being their partner here. New hope. And there's new hope about that here. Because maybe somebody has unrestricted themselves here. There's also a whole fucking shit ton of, like, addiction and restrictions and... Unhappy marriages. This a lot. It's been weighing heavy here. This contract, uh, partnership, uh, where there's been a separation and an estrangement. People have felt isolated here. There's unconditional love, some divine union, a love of a lifetime, communication, making contact here. After silence, after something toxic, uh, fear and just, a lot of lust here. It might be kissing, fireworks, all a bunch of shit like that. Documents, handwritten documents, fax, email, record here. Uh, high Priestess, the man, fireworks, communicating. Solving problems unexpectedly. Action. Unexpected again here. Something to do with an Aquarius being let go or some breakup here between a soulmate. Uh, toxic. Sagittarius resources. I think I can. Uh, blending and brewing and overflowing of abundance. Chasing after something. Ready, set, go. All right. Let's see what else is going on here for Leo. Let's pick this all up. Uh, this fucking mask is like wanting to stick in between everything here. And the Eight of Swords wants to go too. No, no, no. All right. Let's see, Leo. A couple more little messages, and I'm going to let you go. Uh, this emperor I didn't want to go. All right. Let's see, Leo. Bullies. Uh, memorabilia, the past here, suicide rumors, belittling loner, isolation, dropout, verbal abuse, cyberbullying, uh, historic event, family photos, mementos, toys, souvenirs, sentimentality, somebody can't let somebody go. Uh, math. They just can't. I feel like somebody's, like, come to the reality of the intelligence, their logic, their, uh, they just know something here. Theater. I feel like somebody has been, uh, lying, uh, isolating themselves when they would really rather be someplace else with other people here. Something about vengeance, violence, uh, from the past here is holding people down, theater, yeah, see, not cool. There's more mask, ego, people pretending, not telling the truth, that person is clearly not who they're saying they are, I fucking hate clowns, the bullies too, they can just savage, something in the past happened, people took advantage of other people here, uh, but somebody... I don't know, this monster here. Something is just so big. Although this does say demon too. Uh, somebody could have a learning disability. Somebody in the past made a hypothesis here. And now I feel like understudy, like, like father, like son, like mother, like daughter, like family passing down things here. It's like showtime here. Can I have another one? Pre-science. Because... Something has been predetermined here. Uh, statistics, kind of what I just said about the, like, mother, like, father. Like, uh, somebody could have... Hmm. 
A fortune teller here, God, psychic, medium, prophet. An interview, uh, right and injustice here. Live. Fake news. I feel like people have been like, like don't believe everything you hear here. Right and injustice. So we're going to have a criminal record, uh, also DNA, somebody wants to reopen something and repent for their actions or their behaviors, um, or attacking somebody. What is this right here in the monster too? Morality. That just got pushed out. What is that? Soul. That's why. Because it's karma. Oh, so right and wrong, double standards, um, oh, okay, gravestone, soul, family history here, double agents, corrupt business practices, bribes, I feel like people are like bribing their family members, something about somebody didn't possibly, uh, it has to do with God and the commandments and your sins are the same as my sins here. I think people probably <clears throat> hurt people, to hurt people back, to hurt people. It's like a lot of that going back and forth here. But something, it's like, something died. Someone died here. Some... Safe. Somebody's different. Really different. Um, I feel like somebody didn't know that was that that could be a thing here. I also feel like there's a lot of sadness and mourning about the past, but we can't get the past back. So, um. Spiritualism. There's some fucking uh, psychic medium spiritualist around here. Uh, people could be reincarnated. Ghosts. Again, faith. Uh, people might have a meal together. Uh, karma. Uh, this reminds me of like what is my card that says like you get what you deserve karma it has no menu with the restaurant you get what you deserve poverty somebody is um might be just literally be hungry and starving here somebody misses somebody's cooking again these desperate plans uh, welfare, stealing, it's a class system, job applications, unemployment, a lot of that stuff. The store, I don't know, something to do with food. And stores, supermarkets. I mean, honestly, people could just be going to the store and cooking dinner. But then I have this at the bottom of the deck, which is so yucky. Unexpected help. Uh, I've seen angels, and then I saw I saw angel, and then I saw a better angel. I've seen a, a demon. People are lost here. I've got the zombies too, and somebody feels so bad that gambled something. Uh, debt. I feel like somebody was unable to pull this heist off. It's not. It didn't turn out the way it was supposed to. And somebody's ready to raise the stakes. Because of the societal breakdown, I also feel like there's really dark energy, like an energy vampire running around here. Suicide, broken heart, uh, no way out, despair, depression, more debt, bottle of pills, uh, bridge, illness, financial ruin. Pull off a heist. Something about a man. Things revolve around a man here. Manhunt, inside man. Somebody could be on parole or probation. They could be a convict. 
Uh, somebody could feel like they're being held hostage in, in poverty. Uh, these two people, the man and the woman, have their backs turned towards each other. A villain. Bully antagonist. Serial killer, evil plan, thief, hidden figure, goon, professional criminal, treason, gangster, assassin, scheming, deceit, corruption, uh, hidden motive, and fiend. I feel like somebody is a lot of lusting and fiending going on here. Desperate. Somebody could be holding somebody hostage energetically. There's a student here, again with the learning disabilities, could be children involved, teenage ones. Um, somebody could have dyslexia. There could be some dropping out, online classes. All right, let's get a couple more cards and I'm gonna let you go. Here, there's a, I just saw a hospital and a phone. All right. Secrets, the crown. Uh, the noble title, rulers, monarchy, and family. This is all stemming around family shit. Here, immortal. I did say somebody was reincarnated, but... Heaven, dark magic, uh, vampire again. Disease causes disease. People around us can actually make us sick. Our homes can make us sick. Here, cult. Our homes, some sort of sharing a home. Um, small living, apartment living, like uh, duplex here, something from childhood. There's some sort of role play going on. Meh, somebody likes toys. I think it's an adult. My heart hurts again. All right, so here's the sun. Photo album, uh, some traveling. Somebody wants to go see somebody here. Somebody is very happy to see someone. Maybe a medical breakthrough somewhere, somehow. I feel like this, there is life after death. Like something has been over and is being brought back to life, but was never really, like it died, but it's not dead. Salvation, it can still be salvaged. Self-improvement. I feel like there's brainwashing, but that's everywhere in the world. A lot of magic here. Uh, again, with religion, people could be uh, in going down the religion road when that really wasn't their thing before. And there was also some grandmaster energy floating around. When the heart start a new life here. And then there is crimes. Uh, like I said, there is like a psychic grandmaster God here, going down the path of God again. His blueprint, um, do his will, not thy will here. Uh, it's a concept. And more with the DNA, starting from scratch here with a high priestess. Some high priestess has something to do with something here. More telepathy, clairvoyance. Uh, family squabbles, a medium, supernatural, somebody's house could be haunted. Uh, again, and maybe if it's not like down the road of God, spiritualism. And then there's a killer and I see a prostitute. So I'm just seeing like maybe both these people behave badly. revenge. People could have cheated on people. There could have been drug addictions. There's some blackmailing going on here. And then we got trafficking, political scandals, all the shit that's going on outside our, our 
individual lives here. Some domestic violence here. Uh, these two prostitutions. I don't know what's up with the prostitution. But I'm not a Leo either. Maybe somebody sold their soul to the devil for uh, life. For um, this. This killer. Um, somebody is just so fucking dark. I can't. What is this? Life. Endangered species, medicine, existence, the meaning of life, DNA again, reincarnation again, after death, sun, after death, somebody might like want to escape together when maybe like before there was incompatibilities, people are finding compatibility, win the heart after a divorce or starting a new life after a divorce. There is depression and substance abuse, troubled past. Somebody could be going to night school. And there's new identities. Things are not what they used to be. Here's a bedroom. We saw the sex and the lust and the... Here's a school. Caretakers. Uh, more learning disabilities. Playing hooky. Online classes. Uh, separate beds. Somebody wants to have sex here. Like, big time. Uh, pot might be relevant. A hotel. That's what I'm saying. Somebody might want to, like, go get a room. Here. Or, yeah, a fling. Magic. Somebody wants to make magic. Somebody wants to communicate something. Somebody's been manifesting. Family. Uh, a boy. Catalyst here. Igniting something. Empress. A boy has been manifesting his mother here over a period of time. Collective consciousness. Feel like he's very aware of what he's doing, soulmate. Somebody could just be childlike and need a mother. Uh, I feel like this little boy belongs with his mother, and people might be standing in the way of that. The Wheel of Fortune. See, it's out of your hand. Somebody got to let something go here. A contract. Somebody needs closure. This partnership. Con so, so this little boy. All I can hear is I just want my mom here. Allow trust divine timing. I can hear him. Divine feminine. I just. Maybe they want their mom and dad back together. Because there's the little girl. I can hear them both. I feel like they're persuading a divine masculine and feminine energy to death and tower again to like have a do over, a meeting, a date, divine intervention here. Uh, I don't know. Green light process, messages, progress, I mean, full speed ahead. Uh, uncommon bonds and a deep desire for family here. All in for what you love. This looks like kids uh, trying to uh, put a family back together. I might cry. Stop it. I'm not a big crier. Can we stop? After some arguments, fighting, painful abuse here. Again, fair and just. It's, it's what's fair, it's what's written, reconcile, forgiveness, forget it, strong emotions, like you know you love them. Even though it's complicated, I feel like something's coming unraveled. Birth of a son and birth of a daughter are both out here. Like the actual parents, these children are trying to... That would make them happy here. 
if they could do this here because this is how they feel. They just want their family back. They see what's going on. They've been exploring. I feel like these children, children, um, they know judgment, uh, devil energy, or like there's a contract here. These children know that there's a contract. Somebody wants to hold their mom's hand. Unexpectedly? Unexpected rendezvous. That's exactly what these kids problem solving. They're trying to connect and unite after stress, worry, anxiety, filth, loss here with a Libra or justice or divorce, cyclical. Uh, they have to come back. It was, it's like, geese always come back, right? Memories here, magical mystery, more problem solving with this. They want this to change. They don't want it to be a stalemate. Can't we just have peace and collaborate? Please? All right, I gotta go. Until next time, Leo. Bye.